We're in the process of removing the Iron Gate Dam and three other dams here on the Klamath. A year from now, the Klamath will be a free-flowing river through this hydroelectric reach for the first time in over a hundred years. These dams were built to produce hydroelectric power. They don't store water for municipal or agricultural uses, and they're not operated to uh, provide any flood control benefits, simply to use the water to spin turbines to generate electricity. The electric company that previously owned the dams made a decision that they did not want to continue to operate them and entered into a settlement agreement in 2016 that resulted in the transfer of the facilities to the Renewal Corporation for purposes of removal. Significant biological impact. It's the classic example of short-term pain for long-term gain. Climate dam. Uh, then the Fall Creek Hydroelectric we want to stabilize the soil. We want to get things growing. Uh, we, we will also be helicoptering in trees. At the time that the dams were built um, and the area inundated, uh, some of the land was taken by eminent domain, but our people were um, displaced from this area. Channel that was constructed at the very beginning of, of the operation. To me and to our tribe, that's uh, that's what uh, justice looks like, you know. Uh, it's the return of our homelands. I mean, uh, some of our people say we're here because those fish were here, you know, it helped us survive uh, the ages. To restore the salmon, it may take really concentrated efforts, uh, uh, some hatchery supplementation before they finally can maintain their own population spawning naturally and reach harvestable levels. So, uh, and but you know, the biologist said, what happens if uh, even if one salmon comes up here, you know, after the dams are removed, you know, in, in uh, early years, that would be pretty amazing.